also do the YouTube one. So I'm on Twitch and I'm on taping for YouTube here. Let's give you some sights. I'm on the Warriors bench. Oops, hold on, I gotta switch hands. Oh, this is awkward. I don't know how I'm gonna switch back to selfie mode. All right, here you can see I'm, I'm on Twitch at the same time. Ugh, this is, this is painful. If, if the Twitch app would just work the first time, then we wouldn't have to go through. All right. Um, let's switch back to self mode. And let's begin the report. Well, all I can say really, um, I, I have to admit, I have not listened to the Steve Kerr or Alfonso McKinney um, Q and A's because I haven't had time. I posted those videos plus all the views from there. I had Clay, quick views of Steph. He got done with his shooting really quick and he was at the other end whereas Clay started off on the near court with us and I could could film him easily um, and then got Andre Looney and McKinney shooting as they usually do I'll tell you what Andre was was hot for a little bit I mean like swish 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 and then and then a miss and then you know, swish uh, so he looked he looked a little locked in but you know usually no correlation there to game performance um, Saw Quinn Cook shooting after Clay, and then he was dancing back to uh, Boogie, who was talking to Marcus Derrickson, wondered what they were talking about. And then I saw Steph on, in the corner again with Draymond. This time, unlike if you look at our Instagram from a few days ago, and hold on, I had to fix the focus on that. Um, so, the YouTube tape might be a little blurry. Nothing I could do about it. Um, unlike the Instagram post that I had where Steve was talking to Draymond and uh, Steph having a little chat before game one, that didn't happen this time. They were, they were loose. They were just, you know, laughing at their phone screens, um, just chatting. Livingston was on his phone. Hopefully it was, uh, you know, text and family stuff because he told me, and he's an honest guy, he told me that he wasn't checking at any social media yesterday. Remember when I asked him about the whole fuck Steph Curry chant outside of Jurassic Park? Um, so I think uh, the guys are loose. You know, it's still not a, you know, it's not a must-win game. We know that from the Raptors coming back against the Bucks. By the way, one thing I, I wasn't able to mention anywhere, even on Twitter, is uh, it, you, you should check out at least, I think, maybe in the middle of the Nick Nurse uh, Q&A from yesterday. He uh, complimented the Warriors' uh, defensive schemes. Basically, that's all Ron Adams right there to start with and said it was, it was some next level innovative stuff where they would sometimes blitz Kawhi and then sometimes um, how do I say it? blitz at the last second and so, so not show a blitz and then bam go get them so there's a lot of talk about are they going to blitz them again today from the media and stuff but there, there's a few more wrinkles to that than, than just you know blitz yay or nay okay so so we'll see and uh, I mean, I, I wish I had time to to look at games from an X's and O's perspective, but I, I no longer do that. Being, you know, I'm, I'm a former coach. I used to coach. That's why I have tons of respect. Will never ever get mad at Steve Kerr. And unlike a lot of you in Dub Nation who just would love to, uh, oh, this is nice, pretty lights, who would love to just criticize him on every single decision. Do you know how many decisions a, a coach has to make during a game? It's like almost like 
you know, definitely six figures of decisions. So go, I encourage you to go coach something. Kids squad, AAU, men's rec league. The more difficult, the better, because because you're going to get the feel of, you know, how difficult it is to make decisions, to uh, sub somebody out, to deal with their emotions and so on and so forth. So I digress a little bit, but I was talking about Nick Nurse's um, film study of the Warriors' defense. He had some cool things to say, so you should definitely go check yesterday's uh, practice Q&A with Nick Nurse. He's a good guy. And, and you know, um, all of these coaches, uh, you know, sitting there listening to him, I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool of him to say that. But at the same time, you got to remember, these were the elite of the elite. 450 of the best players in the world are in the NBA. Guess what? 29 of the, or 30 of the, why did I say 29? 30 of the best coaches in the world are, are in the NBA and I mean if, if if they're not the top 30 they're certainly in the top 50 you know out of all human beings you can pick all right so um, that's one thing I, I forgot to mention um, and how did I get on that tangent well going back to um, today's morning shoot around again they were uh, in good spirits, um, not it wasn't a must-win type of feel like like the Rockets game game five I think it was or game six I think is when Draymond said that nobody was really talking or doing any rah rah stuff because they knew what they had to do um, and the, the only other real big thing to report was that Steve Kerr said Kevin Durant for game three it's it's feasible quote unquote use that word feasible that KD could come back for game three I tweeted out that I saw KD I didn't want to rush and you know point my camera at him so I just I just tweeted out what I saw which was a quick thing which he walked by the again the media workspaces where we are it's sort of um, the pathway that leads from the locker room to the team bus and uh, KD had a uh, ice pack on his right calf but to me he was walking normally no limp whatsoever normal gait um, and so again we'll still have to see day to day how it progresses again it's a day to day thing so that's why Coach Kerr said it was feasible that um uh, Durant could return by game three. So we'll just have to see. It's coming up quick. Tuesday. Um, no, Tuesday's practice. Wednesday is game uh, three. Today is Sunday. You know, you lose track of the days when you're in the NBA. All right. Um, and then the last thing I, I just wanted to say was um, that, uh, and then I'm going to need a piece of tissue paper real quick because it's freezing cold in Scotiabank Arena. You have no idea. It's like they got that air conditioning blasted for 20,000 people already and um, it is just, it, it's, it's, it's freezing. It's colder inside than it is outside. So that's playing all kinds of tricks on my, my allergies. Um, so the last thing I saw was uh, Damian Jones walking out towards the team bus with, I think, Damian Lee was looking at something loud on his phone, something, you know, social media-wise, some video, something loud and laughing, and, and Clay was there, too, and he was, he was also laughing with him, too. So the serious straight-facedness of, of Clay won't, won't arrive until pregame. So he's, uh, he's, they're all pretty loose still. They know what they need to do. A, get back on defense per Steve Kerr. And B, just really just not, um, as I said from before on, on, on Instagram, the whole Jurassic Park thing, the whole story of Toronto, the awesome fans that they do have here, the, the O Canada anthem from game one, which 
by the way, today's Alessia Cara is going to sing O Canada. She's one of my favorite artists out there. You know, just, just supremely talented. She's from Brampton, just a few miles away from downtown Toronto in the suburbs. It's going to be loud again. I'll film it for you guys, post it on Patreon since I can't post it anywhere else in the public domain. Um, man, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to post uh, Steph making 34 straight threes in practice. He actually made 40, then later on made 34, and I caught the 34. That I just processed that last night. Just has been one thing to the next. So tiring. Um, but that one's on deck for Patreon as well. The anthem tonight will go on there. So I was talking about the Toronto crowd. Well, I, th I think the Warriors team themselves got a little, got a little, uh, I don't know what the word is, but caught up in, in that kind of moment where they forgot that these Toronto fans, as great as they are, want to rip their hearts out, deny them the three-peat, and as some would outside in Jurassic Park, chant, fuck Steph Curry. <laughs> so uh, I think, I think um, it was a wake-up call for the Warriors and Dub Nation, you guys. So it's on now, and that's where we're at. And that's how I'll close. That's everything I, I know so far, minus, you know, the bulk of what Kerr and McKinney said in the Q&A today, because again, there, there were very large scrums. I was sort of in the back and, you know, wasn't gonna about to elbow Kareth Burke to get a better position for those. So, but I did get the, get the recording, put it up and processed it and boosted the audio and put it up for you guys on YouTube, so. It's there. I just I just haven't had time to go listen to it. I mean, that's extra 12 minutes of my time that I don't have right now, which I'll get into right now. So um, I'm going to shut a lot of here real quick. I'm going to guess where... Man, you lose track of time out here. I'm going to guess where... Five hours before tip-off. And... No, no, four, because it's, it's, it's an 8 o'clock tip-off tonight versus 9 o'clock because it's a Sunday. Um, I don't think I'll be able to take a pregame nap anywhere, so no time for that. Go get some caffeine in the system. Go purchase my uh, to-go dinner because there's no media dining here. Um, the configuration in the bowels of the arena d does not allow for an area like that. So they give us these vouchers for um, the concession stands, but I don't have time to go get in line in the concession stands and, and purchase fried food. No, I'm not doing that. So there's, as I mentioned before, there's a couple of supermarkets within walking distance. So I'm gonna go there, get some fresh food, health, healthy food to go come back by, well, real soon. And that's it, so I'm not going to have time to do a lot of stuff for you guys. So I'm going to end it there, and then we'll do another minute buffer because uh, the Twitch app sucks and needs to have that extra time. So I'll flip it over so you can see, but as far as uh, YouTube tape, I'm gone. Thanks, guys, and uh, good luck in game two.